Hi all, this is the part 5 video of Rose 2 beginner series. Today we are creating our first Rose 2 node. Open the file that we have created. Using the line import rclpy, we have already imported rclpy, which is the Python client library for Rose 2. Define the main function using def main initialize the rose2 system using init function this must be called before creating any nodes or using any other rose2 features the args parameter allows you to pass command line arguments to the rose2 system during initialization rclpy.shutdown is written to shut down rose2 node when the code is finished Type this to define the starting point of the script and call main function inside this. Import the class node which is designed to be subclass by your own node classes. Next we are going to write our custom node. We need to name the node, give the name my node. Then Define the constructor method which is automatically called when an instance of this class is created. The self parameter is a reference to the instance of the class. So you can access variables, method, etc. within the class. Initialize your rows node with a unique name node underscore one. Define the node inside main function. We can give some log so that we will be able to identify that the node is working fine. I am giving my channel name. Open setup.py inside the package. Then go to entry points. Here you can edit and give the name that we are going to call. So we are giving the name test underscore node and then we are specifying the entry point. So entry point is package name dot name of the node colon name of the function. Save the changes. We can edit this to robot executives. So next we are going to build the package using the command colcon space build. Source the workspace to get all these changes in the same terminal so type source install slash setup dot bash moment of truth we can use this command to run the node rows to space run space name of the package space name of the node so you can see the log is displayed here press ctrl and c to close the node for every change in the script you need to build the workspace using calcon build if you don't want to build the workspace again and again for minor changes you can use the command calcon build calcon space build space hyphen hyphen simling hyphen install source using this command and then run the script again Changes are reflected now without the requirement of new building. Change the log and run the node again. We need to call a function continuously instead of ending rows node after a particular node. So we need to define another function called timer underscore callback. Inside that, we are giving the log. We need to call this function inside the constructor. Self dot timer underscore callback. And the rest of the code. Type this command. Rows to run package name, name of the node. So, since the function timer underscore callback is getting called continuously, the log is getting printed continuously. So, this node is a simple ROS2 node. It is not having any publishers or subscribers or anything. 
those topics will be covered in coming videos so like how i included count in the law you can try out something by modifying the code thank you